first ones. Study the first two first. Log 10, 1. Log 100, 2. Log 1000, 3. Log 10,000, 4. Log 100,000, 5. But please watch out. The base is at 10, 10, 10, 10, and 10. Is there a rule that you can tell me now? It's, it's easy. Come on, right? If I have log 1 million, if there are 6 knots, your answer is 6. Provided the base is 10, please. Right? So that's one rule I want you to know. Okay? Uh, good. So, so far, so good. We did a few laws. We actually derived them. Uh, I will be going over some of the important laws now. Th these are small ones on only. Now we go to the main, main laws. There are three basic laws of logarithms apart from the two that we derived now. So what I want you to do, sit back, relax for some time maybe, and then go back to uh, logarithmic forms and exponential forms see how we changed from exponential form into log form we haven't done uh, changing logarithmic form to exponential form as I said they are identical okay we do that now and then go for the uh, the, the three laws that we have to learn. all right Right now, <clears throat> it's a second part now. So far, what we did was we learned very well how to change from exponential notation to uh, logarithmic form. Now, we also need to know how to change from logarithmic form back to the exponential form. So once you master those two, it's very easy. This topic will be great to do really, right? So I, I want you to go back and then study the ones that we did uh, changing from exponential form to logarithmic form. I'll just take a few questions from there to see what is the relationship. Okay. Right. There we go. Now just copy this in your worksheets please or in your book there. I'm taking one question which says uh, log let's say let's not take logs let's just take a number only 2 cube is equals to 8 so that we know 2 cube is 8 come on right now this when you change to uh, the logarithmic form we take the exponent we write the exponent as it is exponent is equals to logarithm of 8 the 8 comes there and the base 2 remains as base 2. So this is what we know. What we are doing, so we, we changed that, that way. We, we went that way now. Now we are going from logarithmic form to exponential form and then see how it is changed. Suppose this is given to you. <clears throat> how do you change this back into that? Just study very carefully. Uh, the 8 comes as a free number. 8 is out. Base, as I said, is same in exponential form and logarithmic form. So, 2 stays as the, the base. The number which is free here, that is nothing but the exponent. Right? So, if you put a line like that, does it make any sense to you now? 8 is equal to 2 to the power 3. That's what you can say. Let's see one more example, whether we are right or wrong. <coughs> Suppose I have 5 cube is equals to 125. That's the exponential form. We are changing this into log form and study how to change back. So the 3 stays there. 3 is equals to log is log. Log 125. And then the base stays as it is, which is a base 5. Now, to work it backwards, we are going from logarithmic form to exponential form. 125 is free. 
Just put a line that way mentally and then, then say, do you agree that's a 5 to the power 3 should be 125? That's all it is, right? Go back and say that's a 2 cube is 8. Now, if you study the questions that we already did <clears throat> uh, using the same line method, just draw a line and then see. Uh, 10 square equals to 1024. Does that make any sense here to you? Right. This particular question there, I want you to study care carefully. I think we made a mistake. This is not 2. That should have been a 10. That should have been a 10. And the base stays as 2. The base is 2 there. Right. Okay. Now, study the same, same thing here. Let's just go and see. 7 cube is 343. 7 cube is 343. 10 cube is 1000. 121 to the power half is 11. So, more, I mean, th that's all it is changing from one form to the other. Uh, let's take a few questions. Now, I'll give you some questions as we did in the last case, but, but not as many, right? Question one, you are changing from logarithmic form to exponential form, right? Uh, given to you that log 8 to the base 2 is equal to 3. That's how the question is. Log 8 to the base 2 equal, equals to 3. You're changing this into uh, ex exponential form, please. Right. Next one. I'll write it slowly and you copy and write the answers, please. Log 25 log 25 to the base 5 is equals to 2. Then number 3, <coughs> please copy it quickly. Log m to the base n is equals to k changing that into exponential form. <clears throat> the fourth question, quickly please, fourth question is log uh, 7 to the base 4, log 7 to the base 4 is equals to 1.4, is equals to 1.4. It's a rough value there, please, right? Uh, next question, number five. Number five. Log one. Log one to the base seven is equals to zero. Is equals to zero. So those are the five just for you to see how to change from logarithmic form back to exponential form. Right, question one. Log h to the base two is three. Change that to uh, exponential form. Quite simple. Draw a line, line there. Eight is equals to two q. So let's not waste time now. Eight equals to two q. Done. Here also, 25 is equals to 5 to the power 2 of 5 square. Then the next one is log m to the base n is k. The line goes there. Watch. Uh, we can say m equals to n to the power k. Right. n to the power k. Uh, the next one is log 7 to the base 4 is 1.4. I just checked with my cal calculator. This is right. Uh, 7 is equals to 7 equals to 4 to the power 1.4, please. Uh, oops, sorry, we are off the screen there. Right. The next one, last and final, that's the fifth question. 1 equals to, 1 equals to, you can say,